Even back to this summer, we started noticing in the emergency room that there was just more coughing dogs than normal. Um, you know, summertime, there's respiratory viruses that get passed around to dog groups. And, and it's not uncommon for us to see one or two a month of a dog with kind of a dry hacking cough that's been around other dogs. But this summer, there was just far more coughing dogs coming into the emergency room than in years past. And there were far more dogs who we were seeing develop secondary bacterial pneumonia. So instead of that dry cough where the dog felt good, it was now this wet cough where the dog felt sick. Historically, when dogs caught a respiratory virus, they might cough for five to seven days, but it was a really self-limiting cough. It was a dry cough. It would go away on its own. Um, the coughs that we're seeing do tend to last longer, you know, a couple weeks to even a couple months. Um, I think this cough is unique as well because instead of that dry cough that we think is caused by a virus going away, many of them are catching a secondary bacterial pneumonia. So then the pneumonia gets down into their airways and takes advantage of the damage that virus did. And now they have a new cause of pneumonia. And so again, we don't know what's causing this or why it's changing in the way it behaves inside the dog's lungs. Um, but those two factors, the cough lasts longer and more dogs are catching that secondary bacterial pneumonia seems to make it unique as far as what's going around this fall. Any type of cough is a reason to bring your dog to your veterinarian or an emergency veterinarian. Cough can be caused by a whole host of things from a problem in the lungs to a problem in the heart to a problem in the big airways. So at any onset of cough, I would recommend a pet owner bring their dog to the vet and let the vet fully evaluate by listening to the lungs, taking x-rays of the lungs. We can ultrasound the lungs to see if there's a problem that is related to pneumonia or uh, the contagious pneumonia that seems to be going around. Um, so early care is really important. I think the most important takeaway from this increase in coughing is to make sure that we can fully protect our dogs by full vaccines. And then also before we take our dogs out into the community, giving those vaccines about two weeks so that the dog can develop immunity to those viruses and to those bacteria um, before going out into the community. And if at all possible, if people can avoid really crowded situations with their dogs. So if your dog doesn't have to go to the pet store with you, I would leave your dog at home. If you can avoid a boarding kennel and instead maybe use a pet sitter at home, I think that's a better solution, especially because it does seem like it's being passed around dog groups um, and is probably something contagious being passed amongst dogs. So particularly for this pneumonia that does tend to be longer lasting and can be more severe than in years past, that early vet visit can be so important to establish that relationship with your vet and have them help you take care of your dog and then track how this illness is going to progress.